won tonight, but this is the bigger story. This transcends the game, I think, because it looks like it's not going to go away for a while. We are talking about Ken Griffey Jr. It has been three weeks since this happened, and Jr. is still not healthy enough to play. Now tonight we get word that it's more than just a pulled hamstring. Tonight, tonight the team doctor is saying that Jr. has a partial tear of that muscle. No disabled list. They'll continue to use him as a pinch hitter. At least one red is done guessing when Jr. will be good to go. You know, he'll just be ready. We have to deal with, uh, with the game without Junior. He'll be available, pinch hit. Uh, and and he's, he's made progress. He has made progress. He feels a lot better. It's getting better. And it'll be ready when it's ready. <laughs> but it ain't ready now. Now, tonight it was miserable down there. Not the game, the weather. Actually, Elmer DeSantis pitched some pretty good baseball. Let's go to the ball game. Kind of a night where you wanted to find someone to snuggle up to. Even if it was the guy with the big head and the felt suit. Top two, Brewers with two on and one gone. And it's Jose Hernandez with the clean knock to center. And it's one zip Milwaukee. But the Reds would get this one back. In the bottom of the third, after a couple of singles, here's Barry Larkin back in the lineup tonight. All bundled up. And a simple ground out. A fielder's choice. But it gets the tying run home. It's a 1-1 ball game. Elmer DeSenge pitched very well tonight. In the cold, he goes six, allows five hits and two runs. And whoosh. He had five of those. Bottom six now. Larkin is on first after a single. He had a couple of hits tonight. This is Michael Tucker. And that's up the gap in right center field. And with Barry's speed, he is home, no sweat. It's a 2 1 ball game. Larkin two for four tonight. But look how the Brewers pull even. Top of the seventh, runners on second and third. And what do you know? A wild pitch. John Reedling in relief. Wild pitch tie game until the eighth. After Larkin doubled and a walk. Here's Sean Casey. Belliard juggles the ball. Casey legs it out, avoids the double play. The game-winning run scores. 3-2 is the final. The Reds win it tonight. Tonight, the weather was cold. The Reds were hot. Tonight, the weather was passable, and the Brewers pass right by him. Let's go to the ball game. Golden night for Pokey. He picked up his gold glove. Best fielding second baseman in the NL for the last two years. Pete Harnish on the mound tonight. Struck out the side in the second, but just a little bit high here. It was a 2-1 game in the fourth. Milwaukee leads. They put a couple of guys on, and here is Jose Hernandez, and that ball is way out of here. This thing probably hit the watchman over the flood wall. 5-1 Brewers. Harnish lasted four, six hits, and five earned runs. Bottom seven now. Donnie Sadler, two for three tonight. He's on first. Here's the captain. Larkin turns on the pitch, drives it into the corner and left. Sadler streaking. He scores. It's a 5-2 game. But the bullpen broke down, folks. Dennis Reyes in the ninth. This is ruled a pass ball. This gets the runner to third. He later scored. The pen, five innings, five hits, two runs. Reds ninth, Aaron Boone. And you can kiss it goodbye. His first of the season. He was two for three tonight. It made it 7-3. Griffey didn't get a hit, but he got hit on the knee. He was pinch hitting. It loads the bases. The Reds get one run out of the deal, but Sean Casey ends it, grounding out to first. 7-4 is the final. The Brewers get out of town with the split. It's just frustrating. Uh, I mean, it seems like uh, we won the last five in a row, and it's just basically because pitchers have been able to keep the team in the game, and then these guys have been finding a way to score a run or two that we need, you know, and it's frustrating to, you know, to not be able to keep them close enough.